Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about this real T and o, tooth number 8. The outline form should be 1 millimeter from the margin and 3 millimeter from the cingulum and the Michel distal, they are all the same. So one millimeter. And I'm just uh, marking the folders. So these are the folders. And one millimeter. And one millimeter. and 3 millimeters from the CJ of the lingual area and 2 millimeter from the insertion ridge okay so my professor said if you just follow the grooves then it is good enough for the excess prep so let's check one millimeter exactly one millimeter and this one has a little bit more room two millimeter and one millimeter and probably it is more than three it is almost like four millimeter so you can deepen it more here so this is the outline but uh, you can make it like 1.2 1.5 but don't uh, make it bigger than or really tight to the one millimeter because there is a chance to fail so let's try to cut the tooth and see how it is inside Okay, I cut the tooth and now let's see how much we need to penetrate. So this is a good area to penetrate, right? So let's mark it with a pen because I think this is the safest to, to area to penetrate. So if you turn it this way, it is right here. this area so it is about two two millimeters from the uh, bottom of the uh, triangle and about five millimeters let's go back to the side so you penetrate with any bar uh, probably I would prefer to penetrate with uh, some 330 bar. Let's see whether it can reach all the way into the pulp. So let's say if I'm approaching with 330 bar, boom, uh, with the full depth and not hitting the blue band, it penetrates. But if I go beyond the blue band, probably I'm damaging a little bit of the uh, labial wall. So about this much, uh, slightly into the blue band, then I am into the pulp. So uh, this blue uh, blue taped diamond is uh, three millimeter in length. So let's see the actual depth length with the prop. So with the prop, it is about two and half millimeter and on up to the uh la the wall labial wall it is about four millimeter if you approach from this angle uh, from the here but if you are approaching from the top then only two millimeter and if you go four millimeter from here oops you're already damaging a lot so uh, penetration point 
it is recommended to penetrate from the uh, from the two millimeter or five millimeters. Okay, five millimeters and two millimeters. A little bit like um, it is almost half half of the total crown length, right? The enamel is about one and half millimeter and it become as thin as thin as one millimeter and the dentin is about one millimeter throughout so that is how it differs and when you are when we are prepping we need to open up here and here let's suppose that we we opened it up with the pencil because we need to remove the all the pulp horn so if you reduce everything then we have about three millimeters two and a half and about from the CJ uh, five millimeter four, mi four millimeters four to five so we can open it up more here like this and from for here we can probably make it 90 degree mm -hmm. so in the length it'll be like about five millimeters so this inside all edge is like um, we need to be careful because as you are using the rotary much rot rotary instrument the file or a file you might gouge this area you might damage this area causing it to be uh, into the two millimeter limit and uh, causing you to fail so we don't want that to happen so let's try to uh, drill with the real burr so since I like to work with the 330 let's work with the 330 first So you feel drop and once you feel drop make it a little bit wider for you to be able to introduce the um, endo zipper okay make sure that uh, you hit you didn't damage the label wall and try to also fill some wax make sure that you are into the chamber at this time I don't have the endo zipper so I'm gonna use other bird to demonstrate so I'm gonna just use a, a coarse diamond bird and the zipper is always safer but the diameter is uh, kind of big, so you need to be careful. So, so I'm holding the burr perpendicular, right, to the lingual surface. And at this point, I need to pause a little bit and then measure whether I have enough room. So I have 3 millimeters, so I can still go further up. And at this point, using the, using the exploder, try to fill the pulp horn. Okay, I feel something there. 
right? Mm -hmm. And also, mm, it is smooth and nice. Okay, so we need to go a little bit further up. So try to touch the labial wall and slide to off. Little by little, we have enough time. So making it really perfect is more important. Almost, almost it is gone. So a little bit more. Okay, now it is uh, good, right? Okay, and now we need to work on the the visual detail side. So if you turn it around, we see that we just established the top portion as a demonstration purpose, and now we are going to. Let's see whether we have enough. Probably, yeah, we don't have enough room. It is a fail <laughs> because uh, we don't have enough room, which is one millimeter. But just uh, for the demonstration purposes, our focus was uh, here, not on the visual digital side, but just. To to give you understanding, we can extend this much more. So this was the demonstration of uh, cross-section view of uh, tooth number 8 for the endo exam uh, for the 8x. Uh, hope you learned something and hope you will pass the exam successfully. May God bless you and wish you all the best. Bye bye.